Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tortuga, a pirate's tale. Uh, let's get right back in and get to the action. Alright, and if you remember last time out, we were looking for the Rio Blanco. So we will go ahead and try to search for her. So we've done a couple more quests as far as getting goods for England. So they are a little bit happier with us. As you can see down there on the right, we're infamous. So we are working our way to their good graces. So it looks like we did get... Now we've gone up just a little bit more in our reputation. Uh, so we'll see what kind of quests we got here. Well, that is not quest at all, but we will also check that out. Okay, so now I just figured out how to look at all this. Feel a little obnoxious for not catching that earlier. Uh, that's all right though. We'll go ahead and make sure that our ships are maintained. It looks like they are. Let's check our crew 580 and it does look like our men are getting a little uptight. It's been something like two weeks Since we've 17 days, so it's only two and a half weeks and it looks like we got 1.4 million gold So we're gonna go ahead and divide that and we're gonna make these guys all rich men And we completed almost double the articles. Oh. So I think he's unhappy because he doesn't have any grog, but we'll kind of get over it, I think. All right, so we're going to go through and just upgrade all of these guys out. Oh, it looks like that's all I got. And we'll go ahead and continue there as far as the cruise wishes. Let's take a look, see if there's anything new. Ship this <laughs> sink 27 ships from England. That's quite aggressive there. Make a good impression on France. Uh, maybe we should start thinking about. Hey, why don't we get a new captain? I'd like to add another ship on here. It could take us about two weeks. We'll go ahead and buy some food here, make sure that we've got more than enough to get us. I know the men are happy right now, but there's no reason to stop that. And we're going to go back to the Pirate Cove and drop off a bunch of our, uh, a bunch of our, like, extra resources, our wood, our, uh, rope, our cloth, whatever we may have. But we will, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we will come back when we're headed out and when we find another captain. Alright, and we happen to come back to our, uh, hideout just to see what was going on. So we are going to go ahead and upgrade and get the dry docks here so we can store some ships. Uh, don't have any ships to store right now because it does look like we end up losing one of the fleet in that last battle. Um, so now we're rocking at Trader's Flute. So 
we're going to go ahead and continue on around this island here and we'll see you on the other side all right and we found her here it looks like we're just going to have to come about uh, cause she's with the wind Alright, let's see what kind of ships they got. And it looks to be nothing very imposing there. So we're going to go ahead and have at them. And there are a lot of them there. We may just... Oh man, that was a good placement by them because they're not really effective. Alright. That's fine. We'll just um, go ahead and try to sail to the left here. Actually, you know what? We'll yeah. Let's do that. We'll show them how it's done right. And same thing here. It's just out of range, so we are going to take all of our ships to one side here. And we changed some settings around, so now it kind of speeds through the AI's turn instead of making us have to sit through it. Huh. Too bad it's not a good shot on any of those. So I really like that possibility. Hit these two ships, I think. And it's going to be 70% all the way through. So let's go ahead. And we've taken out the armor on one. And the other one's uh, about half, we'll call it a third. And we'll bring this ship in as well, same way. And we'll try to duplicate that. And 50% all the way. Try it. Whew. That was a good one, all the way across to all three ships. Be no that was wonderful. Here. We need more shots like that all the time. And we'll bring this one over here. Get a shot at this front guy. And we will hit him with the hundred percent. And he's rocking back and forth. And I don't want to do that. I'd rather hit him from the other side. Because I really don't want to injure my own men. Maybe we will pull this one back around and try to get him to come at them from their front. They are just trying to take out one ship, just completely blast her out of the water. That's alright. Oh, maybe we should. It'll still be on the... Uh... Unloaded side, so we're not going to do that. If we're going to do that, we'll do something like this. And yeah, we'll fire at the back ship there. And 
And I think that's going to be the shot we'll take here, even though it is not quite loaded. 30% or 70 all the way through, we'll take the 70. come about with the ship as well. And that was a pretty decent shot. Rather volley. Let's get that royal scum. And we're gonna sail directly towards the enemy here. We are not scared. And that ship is now limping along. Finally! I almost fell asleep! And we've got a good shot there, but I really do want to hit him with the other side. That might be the key right there. Seventy percent, yeah. I hope you know what you're doing. Oh, don't worry, buddy, I don't. I assure you, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, uh, we'll take that shot. Just off this little one. Focus your eyes on the objective. And that should work. Good thing. And another sunk. Anyway. And looks like my ships are starting to limp a little bit. Try to get this one out of here. Oh, we'll try this. I don't really like the likelihood of that shot. And 40% all the way through. It's not bad. Can't find a really good spot to hit from. We'll try that. And at 50% chance, it's not really good, but that's fine. go 
go for the 100% chance on that. And she's also taking water. Oh, now I'm upset. Come about and try to hit it on the side that's already been chewed on a little bit. And that makes me upset. I can't believe we lost a good ship. And if we're not careful, we're going to lose another. I'm trying to board this one and just take it. Because we'll need a new ship to replace that one that we just lost, even if it's not the best. And yeah, we're just going to try to sink her. And it looks like she's lost some cannons. And even though the side's completely armored, we'll just keep hammering away at it. And it is funny that I did say that I didn't, and then I really didn't know what I was doing. I did tell him, even if I was being sarcastic when I said it, I did tell him. Sixteen percent chance. And we're going to keep pushing these men into the sea. Call it revenge, if you will. Have all of you sharpened your swords? Another ship for the shell. We got off lightly again this time. All right. Looks like we didn't really get very much there, but we are going to try to take this ship. It's a traitor's flute. Oh, we still have Carrick, Carrick, Queen Anne, and ship the line. Okay. I think we still have uh, all of our ships. That's weird. I thought we had. Uh, and I thought we had lost them. So now we've got to go back to Santo Domingo and speak uh, with the governor. So we will get us there, and we'll see you at shore. All right. So we actually ran into a convoy earlier. Uh, just before we got to Barbados, just actually right off the edge of that uh, coast there. And we took a number of ships, uh, all ships of the line. And we've kind of re-outfitted our vessels here. I had lost Seamus Walsh because he was unhappy. I believe it's because I was helping the English. He's not a big fan of them. Uh, so I had to come back here and get him. Uh, we do have access to get the port decks now, 
and so we're gonna go ahead and take a look here and think about re outfitting the guns on the ship so we'll take a look and then let you know what we come up with all right and we went ahead and upgraded some ships we got all of our ships now have 42 pound guns uh, so we've got quite a lot of firepower there uh, we are going to go ahead and set out and look for another captain we'll let you know when we get there all right and it looks like tom adams a pirate has come and captured us he's got a ship of the line two ships a queen Anne, and it looks like he actually has the advantage here uh, some of his ships are rather strong 1800 1700 those are uh, better than mine here we're gonna go ahead and try to intimidate him yeah, i didn't believe that it worked so we're gonna go ahead and use some of the same tactics where we uh, try to get rid of his masts and his ship so we can just leave him dead in the water and my thought is to make our way out here down the coast while trying to kite them a little bit so go ahead and start with this front ship and try to get her mast down and it looks like we did a good job on that uh, we're not going to prepare the volley I don't think anybody's going to come from that side immediately uh, let's see here And we've put a nice hole in the side of her. And we're going to move this one up and try to tag this ship. We may just try to sink this one. It is a smaller vessel. ship has just been beat up they're trying to sink her pretty hard uh, let's continue to move out and we're also going to chain shot you only 14% that's okay we'll show them how it's done right And we're going to hit the ship that's already damaged because it does not a full volley anyway. So it's not like we are going to be unstable bow. Okay, so it looks like we've already been taking a beating here quite bad. Alright, tell you what we're going to come about. And we are gonna lucky shot one of these here. I think we'll try for this one. Alright, we 
fired through a ship. We sank one of their ships, it was one of the smaller vessels. We're going to come right in between these ships and hit them on either side. That was pretty weak. That was not bad. It hit the ship in front and the ship in behind. And we're going to fire boat that one. It probably shouldn't do too much damage. Yeah, but that's okay, it is on fire now. Back into action. I just made myself comfortable. There we go. We may have to shoot through our own ship here, but that's why they have their heads down. I assure you, that's why they have their heads down. We'll show them how it's done right. That ship can hold 256 I'll men, and that is quite impressive. With enough foresight, we can win every battle. And we're starting to wear the armor away on some of these. That's exactly what we want to do. I wish this battle had gone a little bit more in our favor, though. I mean, it's not quite over yet. Back into action. I just made myself comfortable. Could almost be a good shot. We'll take that shot instead. Because the, the uh, cannon off the bow is actually full. So it may. There we are. There's a good sink. And at 91 men, 
I really don't want to try to board that ship yet. I kind of want to whittle her away. Or pick at her for a spell. And we'll sink another ship. Come on, we've got the wind in our favor. That's going to be a good shot. Even though the cannons are not quite full, it's probably the better shot that we have. Go ahead and take that as a hundred. And we sank that ship, so now it looks like the rest of my ships, they are going to attempt to board these two. At 171 and 180, I think that we have just enough men that we should be able to overtake her. Alright, we got a 52% chance to board this one. And it failed. That's not good. Alright, so we've got a boarding frenzy. 82% or 100%. We're going to take the 100. Alright, let's go ahead and board that one at 17%. And see what the rum does. 10% morale. Okay, we don't necessarily need that. We'll take the. Uh, All right. if it looks like we boarded it. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and try to board this one again. Both of the ships have been intercepted. Oh man, that was rough. That was rough. These guys. Let me go ahead and try to board this one again. Alright, we're starting to make a push here. And the 32%, we're going to try that. Failed again. Alright, we keep pushing this one, that's good. And we've got a 58% chance we're just going to board this ship, try to take her. And then we'll try to grab this ship as well. 72% chance, that's the best one we've had. There we go. We're going to board. Board. And we're pushing them back. And we won the battle. So that's really good. Let's see what kind of ships we got here. Alright, so we got the ships of the line. And it's 1807 and 1797. Those are some scary ships. And we're going to take some captives here. Let's not mess with the loot. Okay, let's go ahead and dock. We will check our fleet. Go ahead and make sure that we have... Uh, men sign like we wanted to. We're going to go ahead and change the rascal around. He's going to go ahead into the ship of the line. It's 1800. Uh, next job is going to go ahead and grab the next one at 1797 and Clement is going to take the Karak and then Walsh is going to take I believe a ship of the line yep. all right now what we're going to want to do is talk to the harbor master and get these ships repaired 
Uh, the next thing we want to do, uh, it looks like we can't do any kind of upgrades. So we're going to go ahead and hit the tavern. Just buy around here. We'll, uh, top off the men. And it looks like we are at 1,484 men. That is quite a bit. Uh, we have almost as much as Henry Morgan when he raided Panama. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and end here. And next time it looks like we're going to get straight into a battle with another pirate convoy. So we will see you next time. If you made it this far, thanks for watching.